Hello everybody, this is Fuzzy Knob here, and in this video I want to give you a beginner's guide to IT security certifications. So um, if you're just getting started out, uh, you can kind of uh, know what to work towards. Um, if you're somewhere in between, you can see maybe what the next step is. Uh, but the general idea is just to get a big picture of all the certifications that are out there for you to pursue. And um, well, you can't you can't obviously get them get them all, and and the uh, the ones I'm going to talk about is really just a subset uh, of all of the ones out there. But it's the ones that I've got the feeling are the are the most important. So the first thing I want to talk about is the uh, CompTIA Security Plus. You should be able to see this. Okay, and that is at um, CompTIA dot org or CompTIA or however you want to say it. Okay, now uh, CompTIA has a few certifications. If you are really, really just getting started, you may want to look at the A+. It's a basic of um, you know, basic computing, what like RAM is, what different parts of the computer are, basic networking concepts. It's, it's just basic, 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 the whole way through fundamental computer skills. So if you don't have a formal education in computer science, um, you know, and, it, and it's even kind of different stuff than that, but if you're really, really just getting started, you may want to pursue that one first. That's what I did a few years ago, actually. I went out, I got the A+, and then I got the Security+, Plus, which is the next one I want to talk about. Um, they're located here on the website. You can see the A+, plus is here. And the Security Plus is the one I want to talk about. Also, the Network Plus is a good one, too. I didn't get that one. Uh, you may want to build up that. But they recommend taking the A Plus, then the Network Plus, then the Security Plus. I just jumped from the A Plus to the Security Plus. It wasn't too bad. Um, so the Security Plus exam, a couple good things about it is if you're a student in college, there's no work experience requirements. So you can just study for it, go out, take it. Um, there's plenty of books on Amazon. I personally like the Cybex books. It's up to you. There's there's plenty of resources out there. Some you can find yourself. Uh, so, the test is pretty short. It costs about 300 bucks. You go, you take it at any testing center. You gotta register. Uh, it's a 90 minute test, and it, it was pretty easy. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't bad at all. Like I said, never expires, and you didn't need anything. You don't have to. Um, get any credits to, to maintain it. So that's where you should start. It's a really good start. Covers all the basics of security. And naturally the Security Plus evolves into the CISSP, which is what I'm going to be studying for now. Uh, the Certified Information Systems Security Professional uh, certification is kind of like the gold standard. It you know, everybody wants to have this. If you don't have it, you sort of don't know what you're talking about because the purpose of the CISSP exam is to cover the common body of knowledge, which is basically the basic things that every security professional should know. So it's actually pretty extensive. There's quite a lot of information. Uh, people have said it's a mile wide and an inch deep, and I can agree with that. So one thing if you notice, if you look around on this page, and this is uh, isc2.org, but if you look around on this page and look about the CISSP exam, you'll see that you need five years work experience. Now, if you don't have the work experience, there's a little note here, what you can do is you can take the test and you'll get associate of ISC squared. Now, what that's going to do is basically going to say, hey, look, I took the test. I passed it. I just need the work experience. So it, in job interviews and, you know, when presenting yourself as a security professional, you're going to say, look, well, I, I know the concepts. I just need the work experience. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to help. You know, it's still going to help. They're going to be able to recognize that, well, you took the CISSP. You could even throw it on your resume, like, you know, I took the CISSP. Um, associate of ISC squared. So that's what I'll be doing. I think it's a really good step for students. Again, I'm studying with the, the Cybex book. I'm using some other resources too. But 
it, it, it's quite extensive. You're going to need some time to study for this one. Okay, so what else is there? These are the this is the one I'm going for right now. But what else is there? Well, there's the certified ethical hacker. I did study for this one, but as a student, they wouldn't let me take it. Uh, based on academic experience to qualify for for taking the test. Uh, they, they actually really bad customer service and they I really couldn't get an answer from them. I just gave up. But I, I studied for it. The exam, it's not hard. It covers a bunch of tools. Um, this was version 6 that I was studying for. I know they came out with a new version. It's supposed to be a lot better. Uh, I don't know. I would wait until you have two years work experience to go ahead and take this, but it's an easy one. A hard one, if you're really feeling up for the challenge, is the OSCP, uh, Offensive, Offensive Security Certified Professional. Uh, it's this penetration testing with backtrack course. Um, I have heard of some people taking this. This is a really difficult one. I would strive to get this if you want to do pen testing. This one, of course, is at offensive, ooh, whoa, OffensiveSecurity.com. Probably already knew that. Now, there's a couple other security domains of well-known certs. The MCSE, which is starting to get a little bit outdated, um, has a security specialization. And if you took the Security Plus, part of that will apply towards this certification. Also, if you take the Security Plus, it knocks one year off the work experience requirement from the CISSP. So it's a good place to start. Uh, but as you can see, there, there's quite a number of exams you have to take. They all cost about 300 bucks. It's um, it's a long road to this one. You're going to want to do this if you want to specialize in being a Windows network administrator that focuses on security. Uh, if you're, I don't know, I mean, it's out there, it's a good one, but it's a long road to get this one. As well as the um, CCNA has a security specialization. Again, it's quite a few tests to get it, and then you have to specialize. I mean, you're going to be well respected for it, but it's one of those ones where you don't get gratification very quickly. You have to like take quite a number of tests, and it does get very expensive. So that's sort of an overview of the security certifications out there. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks. Have a good one.